Hi everyone, I am Rishabh Jain, a master's student at Georgia Tech. Today, I am going to talk about Eval AI, which is an open source platform for the evaluation of AI agents. Since the last decade, we have made groundbreaking progress in AI, and this is possible due to the availability of large datasets, powerful neural models in this generation of deep learning. These models have wide variety of applications, ranging from voice-activated assistants, self-driving cars, to search and rescue robots, and so on. But before these large-scale models are enhanced and deployed in the wild, they are evaluated on a sequestered test dataset for quite a few reasons. First and foremost is that for any new capability in AI, today we are able to engineer narrow and task-specific models because only within a very narrow and grounded context we can define our goal precisely. For example, in a task such as visual question answering, where given an image and a natural language question, what is the mustache made of? The model has to predict a natural language correct answer that is bananas. So in order to measure constant progress on different AI tasks, we need to evaluate these models on a test dataset. Secondly, scientific progress depends upon the ability of independent researchers to scrutinize the results of a research study, reproduce the study's main results along with its materials, and build upon them in future studies. Hence, we need a platform on which these models can be reproduced at any point of time on the test dataset. Large corpus of data is extremely useful for training these models. But to provide a more realistic setting, we need to evaluate these models against hidden test sets or in simulation environments so that they can generalize to the real world. And finally, we want to avoid evaluation of these models on the different splits of same dataset, which leads to inconsistent comparison and also avoid use of different evaluation metrics for the same task, which leads to incomparable results. In order to solve these aforementioned challenges, we need an evaluation server for AI models, but building an evaluation server involves several key challenges. First, and foremost is complex setup for evaluation. Second, computational bottleneck for evaluating these models and a high cost for evaluation. So, towards this goal of reproducibility of results, maintaining evaluation consistency, evaluation of models code, and to measure constant progress for pushing the frontiers of AI, we present Evalia, a platform for the evaluation of AI models. At Evalia, we think that the infrastructure logistics for evaluating a model should not be a problem. Evalia has been live for three years in the community. As we started with virtual question answering challenge in 2017, and since then, we have hosted more than 75 AI challenges, consisting of 65 plus prediction based challenges and 10 plus code upload challenges. With 7,500 users across 140 nations, there are more than 4,500 registered teams who have created a massive number of 80,000 submissions so far. The project is open source with more than 100 contributors on GitHub and several industrial organizations such as IBM, eBay, etc. are using it for hosting their internal challenges instead of reinventing the wheel. Moreover, academic research labs and industrial research organizations are also using it for hosting their evaluation servers. So there are quite a few platforms for the evaluation of AI models, such as Kaggle, AI Crowd, CodaLab, etc. But Evalia addresses several limitations of existing platforms and also provide functionality for evaluating AI models by simply uploading the model's code to run it in real time and human evaluators, which simply enables 
novel research directions to be explored quickly and at, at scale. Valia supports hosting both prediction upload challenges and code upload challenges. In prediction upload challenges, we evaluate AI models output on static datasets to report the results. In code upload AI challenges, we simply upload AI model in the form of a Docker image to run in the simulation of real world setting and evaluate them. In this talk, I would like to explain in detail the capability of evaluating AI models by uploading their code. So, Evalu AI provides three types of setup for hosting these challenges. First, using Evalu AI's infrastructure and Evalu AI's cloud resources for evaluation, such as card pool balancing challenge. I'll also showcase our demo for the evaluation pipeline later in the talk. Second, using Evalu AI's infrastructure and challenge hosts cloud resources for evaluation. So Evalu AI has this unique capability of deploying the models of deploying the evaluation infrastructure in challenge host cloud using their credentials. For example, we hosted Habitat Challenge this year using this pipeline. Third, using challenge host evaluation pipeline and challenge host resources for evaluation. But leaderboard will be hosted on Valia. Examples of these challenges are Simtorial Challenge from Stanford and RoboThought Challenge from MIT. In all the three cases, the leaderboard of the challenge will be hosted on Valium. So, how can participants and a challenge host utilize our infrastructure for hosting a code upload challenge? In order to demonstrate this process, I would like to present a demo for a code upload evaluation with Cardpool Balancing Challenge. But before starting with that demo, here are a few details about the task and the agent. So I'm using this task because it is simple and fast in evaluation. Moreover, it is evaluated in the same way as we have evaluated Habitat Challenge this year. So the task in the challenge is to balance the pole at the cart so that it is not more than 15 degrees from vertical by applying a positive or negative force to the cart as shown in the video. The action space for the agent is plus one or minus one to the cart. The reward is plus one for every time step the pole remains upright. The agent that I am using is a random agent which only applies plus one force to the cart. And a challenge host needs to provide Evalii with the environment docker image for the test environment. So here is the code that I will use for the agent container. This is the Python agent file which participants have to write. And in this file, as a participant, I'm checking if the angle from the vertical is greater than 15 degrees or not. And if not, then I'm pushing the card by applying the force of plus one. Once the Python agent file is ready, then participants can dockerize it. So here is the demo. So I have already created a card pool balancing challenge, which is a code upload challenge on one of our servers. This challenge contains one phase, which is the challenge phase. And now how a participant can participate in the challenge is by creating a participant team. I have already created a team here that is a participant user. Now I can click continue and accept the terms and conditions for the challenge. Once participated in the challenge, a participant has to install our CLI package. Our Evalia CLI is used for pushing the Docker images to our, deposit, to our cloud repository. Once the package is installed, now you can set the token using a simple command. This this setting of token helps to authenticate you with the Valley AI backend. Now, I will build the Docker image using the same Docker file that, that I had shown in the presentation. So as you can see, my Docker image is successfully built. Now, 
I can push the Docker image by copying the submission command from Evalia UI, UI and simply changing the image and tag value from that command. Note that the value push command is similar to docker push command and once run it will start pushing the docker image in the same way as docker push pushes the image. So as you can see my docker image is successfully pushed and I can see the status of the submission using the submission id. Now you can see that my submission is in running state. So let's look at the back end what's going on. So at the back end, as you can see, there is a worker which is running and it has received a submission message. And now it has processed the submission message and finally created a job on our cluster. Now we can go to Evalia UI, check in my submissions and our submission should be in running state. This submission should take a few more moments to complete and the result should be available soon. As you can see that the submission is completed and we can check that the execution time is 41 second and the result file contains the result. We can also go and check onto the leaderboard to see our submission. So let's take a look in detail what's going on at the back end. Once a participant pushes the Docker image, the submissions are queued in a queue. At the other end of the queue, there is a worker listening to the queue. The worker picks up a submission from the queue and gives it to the job scheduler whose job is to schedule it on a cluster of end nodes. Once the job is run, both the environment and agent docker containers are pulled and they communicate using a remote procedural call. The logs during the run are sent to the S3 buckets and as soon as the evaluation completes, the environment docker updates the database with the result. Once this process of agent environment communication gets over, the job is finally deleted from the cluster. So here are some of the features of our agent evaluation pipeline. The backend which we are using is auto scalable depending upon number of submissions or the GPU usage. The participant code is run in a sanitized and isolated environment. Challenge hosts can configure which phase to prioritize for evaluation in case of limited resources. And the test environment is quite secure as only the challenge hosts have access to it. So we have hosted Habitat Challenge 2020 using our infrastructure and a total of 36 teams participated in the challenge who have created more than 500 submissions in all six phases. More challenge details will be given by Alexander. Now, if a challenge host wants to use their evaluation pipeline and their cloud resources for evaluation, then Evaluate can also support these kind of challenges. This use case arises due to the following reasons. So if a challenge host has sensitive or private data such as medical domain and they cannot even share the test data set with Evaluate or they have sufficient compute for evaluation on internal servers then also they can use Evaluia for hosting their AI challenge. For instance, we have hosted Gibson challenge from Stanford, and Robothot challenge from AI2 using this pipeline. So in this case, the participant will push the Docker image in the same way using our command line tool and a challenge host worker is listening to the queue. Now the worker picks the submission from the queue and gives it to the submission evaluator, which evaluates the submission, sends and sends the results and logs to the evaluator and deletes the submission from the queue. And finally, the results are displayed on evaluator leaderboard. Note that in this case, we as evaluator doesn't have access to the test environment since the challenge evaluation happens on challenge host server, but we still host the leaderboard for the challenge. We have hosted quite a few challenges using this evaluation pipeline, such as sim 2 real from Stanford, Robothor from MI2, GoSeek Challenge from MIT, Animal AI Olympics from Imperial College London, etc. So, we want to support all kinds of evaluation for AI models. And 
we know that it is quite easy to evaluate image classification, image segmentation, detection, etc. using automatic metrics. But it is a lot difficult to evaluate natural language generation tasks such as image captioning, visual dialogue, etc. because of a huge set of possible correct outputs and it requires human in the loop. For example, if we ask an AI model to caption this image, then it captions it as a dog sitting beside a man walking on the road, which is close but not correct. We ask a human to caption it, then they caption it as a small dog looking up at a person standing next to him, which is quite accurate. Hence, in order to evaluate these AI models, we need humans to be in the loop. And setting up a human in the loop evaluation is non-trivial and involves a lot of engineering and infrastructure challenges. To solve this problem, we have implemented Hyme, Human Interactive Evaluation Made Easy in Evalu. I would like to show a prototype of human in the loop evaluation for dialogue agents built by one of the maintainers of Evalu, Deshaj. This demo shows how to do a human in the loop evaluation of visual dialogue models. And how it works is that as a researcher, you just have to integrate Hyme Python library with your model's inference code and run the inference code. Hyme library will launch the human studies on Amazon Mechanical Turk and your model will be paired with AMT workers in real time. So I will present a demo video of human evaluation for visual dialogue agents. The task is to talk to a chatbot and ask questions about an image given the image and the image description. The paired bot will reply back with an answer and this can be continued for n rounds. The goal of the task is to have a conversation with the chatbot and evaluate it based on its correctness, detailing, fluency, self-consistency, and human-like responses. For the simplicity of the demo, we will act as AMT workers, ask questions to the bot, and evaluate its response. To keep the demo video short, we have limited the number of rounds to three. So, for the given image, so for the given image, the image description is generated by the bot is a cat sitting on top of a refrigerator. Now we will go ahead and ask questions from the bot. So I'll go ahead and ask a question. What color is the cat? So model responded back with white and black. We can rate models response based on following metrics, its correctness, its detailing, fluency, self-consistency and human-like response. So I'll just go ahead and do it. Yeah, and uh, so I can go ahead and ask another question. What is the cat doing? So cat is looking at the screen. So I can go ahead and uh, rate its response again. And this will go on for one more round. What else is there? There's a lot of things. It's close up and some people are as you see, like the answer is not complete, but it somewhat makes sense. So yeah, so I can go ahead and do it again. And yeah, so once uh, once the AMT worker evaluates a response after each round, and when he submits the evaluation, the results can be published on the Evaluai leaderboard. So as you can see on Evaluai, we have created a dummy challenge. So mm, you can. Uh, so you can see that uh, there is a human evaluation tab where you can see results based on the metrics that we were showing the human workers to evaluate on. And right now, like 10 workers have evaluated it. And if I submit now, so if I submit the evaluation, then the results will be updated here and the evaluation will be based on 11 workers. And these all metrics are being averaged out by the number of workers. And this can be done for any number of models which are participating in the challenge and that brings in a unique capability in Evalii to add human in the loop evaluation along with uh, evaluating models based on automatic metrics. With Hyme, you can pair the Amazon Mechanical Turk users in real time for evaluation of models. You can standardize evaluation of human AI collaborative setting. 
help in the evaluation of interactive AI tasks such as visual dialogue, etc. And it also helps in increasing human evaluations for different interactive AI tasks. One thing that we are really passionate about at Evalia is reducing friction. That's why we are working on smoothing AI challenge creation. Here are a few key factors which makes it challenging for the challenge hosts. First, release of a new and bigger version of the same dataset. Second, introduction of new evaluation metrics in the community when a challenge is running. Third, change in terms and conditions of the dataset over the period of time or a bug found in the evaluation script when a challenge is up and running. Hence, in order to solve these problems and to ease the AI challenge creation process, we are actively working on GitHub integration with Evalia. Once integrated, this will allow the challenge hosts to push updates for their private GitHub challenge repositories and Evalia will be automatically updated from it. Here's a complete workflow on how it will work. To host a challenge on Evalia, a challenge host needs to sign up using GitHub, select a team and click create challenge. It will automatically create a challenge using the Evalia's challenge template GitHub repository and also push this repository's content on your GitHub account as a private repository. Once the challenge is created, then a host can push updates to the GitHub repository and Evalia UI will be updated accordingly. This will be a two-way winding and it will, and if a host updates Evalia UI, then the GitHub repository will automatically be updated. So to summarize, with Evalia, we are trying to solve complex and hard infrastructural challenges in hosting and evaluating AI models. We have the capability to host challenges which require AI models to be uploaded and evaluated in real time. Evalia can also support human in the loop evaluation for AI models. And we are also actively working towards easing the process of AI challenge creation. On that note, I would like to call for applications of new challenges. So if you are interested in hosting an AI challenge, please feel free to reach out to us at team at the redcloudcv.org. We will get in touch with you. Thank you.